Hello co-spoilers. Welcome back to another thrilling episode as we dive into the captivating world of movies. Together, we'll uncover new cinematic gems and indulge in the guilty pleasure of wasting our time on things that truly don't matter. The foremost grasping perspectives of the starvation recreations, the anthem of larks and snakes, don't indeed have to be due with the real starvation recreations themselves. They come afterward, in portion 3 of this long prequel, based on the 2020 novel by Suzanne Collins. Beyond any doubt, there's some fascination in seeing this early incarnation of the recreations, set 64 a long time sometime recently the initial film's occasions. Paynham hasn't been a dystopian no man's land for long, and this simple form of the expound bloodbath we'll know is implied to serve as the capital's discipline against the locale for their rebellion. You don't got to be an aficionado of the establishment to appreciate the distressingly striking sense of put returning Chief Francis Lawrence makes. In spite of the fact that fans will likely appreciate seeing references to Mockingjays, for case, and indeed the title Katniss. In these minutes, we are all the Leonardo DiCaprio pointing at the screen meme. Inside this incensed state of flux, a youthful Coriolanus Snow starts his rise to control. We know he in the long run gets there, as epitomized within the unique movies by a chilling Donald Sutherland. But Tom Blythe's advancement into that oppressive presidential persona is fascinating to observe in its terrific motions and little disclosures. Snow goes from a rich lovely boy ordained for entitled significance to a clear-eyed controller expectation on creating his destiny. It could be a star-making execution. The nuance of this supervillain root story is what makes it so unsettling. Within the script from Michael Leslie and Michael Arndt, Snow attests expanding control not through sheer brute quality but or maybe through basic, calculated choices, one after another. At first, he can tell himself he's doing the off-base things for the proper reasons, in the long run, he doesn't bother to form that deal with himself any longer. We see it in how he imagines he's still well off around his vainglorious school companions, indeed in spite of the fact that his once prominent family has fallen on difficult times, as numerous have. Grandma Am, Fianula Flanagan, puts on show but can barely pay the lease, Cousin Tigress, Seeker Schaefer, remains generous in the midst of the enduring. These impacts appear to shape how he approaches his obligations as a tutor to Lucy Greybeard, Rachel Zegler, the Area 12 tribute he must direct through the 10th yearly starvation diversions. Lucy Gray makes an impression from the primary moment her picture is sprinkled on screens over the country, the main lark, she stands out in her melodic strategy of descent, and Zegler, the West Side Story star, has a cyst bloomed in her charisma. Her voice takes off, of course, but the notes that capture in her throat are indeed more passionate. Blythe and Zegler share a spiky chemistry that's rise to parts fascination and doubt. Each of them realizes they can offer assistance the other survive and flourish since making it out of the starvation diversions lively isn't the as it were objective. Making the foremost important exhibition is what things most presently, we learn from head diversion creator Dr. Volumnia Gull. Viola Davis plays this chicly savage figure with fair the proper amount of camp, and she's the recipient of ensemble architect Trish Somerville's most striking manifestations. Jason Schwartzman, in the interim, offers a few delightful zingers as schmaltzy MC slash weatherman fortunate Flickerman, a forerunner to Stanley Tucci's blue-haired diversion appear have Caesar Flickerman. His bemused mantra, see what happens once you do stuff, is an all-too-relevant commentary on our attention-hungry times. And the retrofuturism of the mid-century cutting-edge TV studio recommends a guarantee of thriving that winning the starvation recreations seem never possibly give. Diminished Dinklage grounds these occasions, which run from the senseless to the savage, as Casca Highbottom, gotta adore Collins' inventive character names. He's the dean of the foundation who made a difference create the starvation diversions within the to begin with put, presently, he's the voice of reason, recommending possibly they're not such a great thought any longer. Dinklage brings a down-to-earth, wry intelligence, which is much needed in this wild world. The slaughters feel more brutal here because these kids don't have to persevere complicated challenges to total them, they fare ought to choose up a weapon and point for each other. 
Some repurposed delivery rambles also up the level of startling viciousness. That's where the intelligent bond between Snow and Lucy Gray comes into play. As a result they've shaped a more profound association than most coaches and tributes, the film's third chapter feels much more full. Here, we see how the depth of Snow's dull side completely uncovers itself. There's a move in his pose, a solidifying in his eyes. Lucy Gray, in the meantime, knows how to utilize her folksy charm for greatest bewildering impact. Though the vitality may have felt a bit uneven in the past two chapters, titled, The Mentor, and, The Prize, Part 3, The Peacekeeper, makes a strong takeoff in terms of area, feeling, and tone. It moves out of the starkness of the capital and into a peaceful woodland setting, where returning cinematographer Joe Willems makes a rich vibe that's both sentimental and perilous. Here's where the 157-minute film moderates and gets calmer, making room for dazzling pressure between two individuals who challenge to believe each other. Snow continuously lands on top, is the longtime philosophy for Coriolanus and his family. The address of how it falls, and whether it sticks, makes The Anthem of Larks and Snakes a shockingly suspenseful prequel. Thanks for watching our video. As we wrap things up, we want to say a big thank you for being a part of our awesome community. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our future adventures. We appreciate all the likes, comments, and support you've given us. It's because of viewers like you that we're able to keep creating great content. So stay tuned for more exciting videos coming your way. Remember, you're the reason we do what we do. Without you, our channel wouldn't be the same. So, until next time, take care, stay awesome. And keep spreading the positivity. See you soon.